You know, I didn't consider myself a tourist, I considered myself an adventurer, a traveller, and it's different. And when you're on your bike, you can ride around these places and explore. You're not just a specific point the bus takes you to, and you get to see so much more. Hi guys, I'm Lyndon Poskett, world traveller and I'm here in Queensland, Australia for the third edition of the Husky Trek. It's 2022, sun's shining, loads of motorcyclists here. I'm looking forward to meeting new friends and getting out and going riding. But more importantly, I'm going to take you along for the ride with me. So let's go. the 2022 Husky Trek. I am riding around on the 901 this week. I'm really excited. We're at Bunyan Mountains. The weather looks fantastic. We've had heaps of moisture around and I just can't wait. Uh, just doing a bit of tech inspection. Check out everyone's bikes. Uh, put a little keep left sticker on, keep everyone out of trouble. I'm officially in. G'day team, I'm, I'm Harry, so over from New Zealand, but English accent, never really, never really got that one. But uh, doing all the admin side of things, unfortunately not getting out riding. But I'll leave that to everyone else. And yeah, just here to make everybody happy and make it a good trek. Keep picking up the pieces and keep it moving. Eh? I'm Rob. I'm the GPS guy for the rally, and I came over from Queensland last night. And first GPS device is coming in already. And then on the rally itself, I follow on the bike, take a few photos, and. Yeah, just try and keep everyone happy and have a good time. Hey, I'd just like to say first of all that it's a real pleasure to be here. I'm Lyndon Poskett. Rosie and the Husqvarna team, thanks so much for inviting me. Uh, I'm really looking forward to riding with you all. And from those of you that I've met already, I think we're going to have a great time. Is that this is the only Husqvarna motorcycles adventure ride just for Husky owners in the world. Woo! Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks to Husqvarna and Mario for putting it together. It's, it's going to be a really good week, I think. Okay, if you want to have a go, have a challenge, get into it. Anyone on a 701 will just breeze through the, the hard section. The hard routes have been marked with 901s, so they're doable. With all the riders and their bikes now on site, technical checks completed, GPS is loaded and log burners stoked, it was time for a good night's sleep before the first day of five. With a long day ahead, with two technical breakout routes, an early start was essential. Unfortunately, our log burner went to sleep too, which resulted in a particularly fresh start to the day. However, we would loop back to the Bunya Mountains tonight for another go. Riders are out. It's a little bit fresh this morning. Only six degrees here at Bunya Mountains. Uh, we have nearly 60 Husqvarna motorcycles adventure riders for the week, and uh, anticipation is high, excitement is high, the vibe is awesome. We just seriously can't wait to get out there. Mad TV on the 2022 Husky Trek. Really looking forward to it. We're there. Ready to roll. We're ready to go. Okay. 
Hey guys, here we are for ready for day one of the Husky Trek 2022. We've got an awesome 365 kilometer loop for those that want to do the extra bits as well, but at least everybody will be doing 330 kilometers. Mixture terrain, we're gonna have some river crossings, some technical sections. I'm sure we're gonna have some mud because it rained a couple of days ago, quite a lot. So it's gonna be fun. Let's go and have some fun, find some riders and enjoy our day. See you later. Little creek crossing. Which way? You can go that way, or you can go that way. We did both. What has happened here? So this is the result of um, tailing Lyndon uh, down a hard track. <laughs> they didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All of you, you want me to get wet? Oh, he took one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not me, it's the bike, I tell you. That 901, just point it where you want to go, give it a little bit of throttle, and it'll take you there.
come How was it? They come in, Pretty epic day, and then come Mad day. Breakouts were like super nice yeah, and slippery yeah. and techo and foggy yeah. and ruddy and yeah, kept everyone pretty honest. Oh Heaps of skid marks. Everyone everyone had a sick time by the looks of the day. <laughs> Well, here we are at the end of day one, uh, Husky Trek. It's been a long day, uh, 365 kilometers for me. Uh, we've had everything, <laughs> muddy tracks, rocky tracks, uh, deep water, uh, lots of water crossings. Uh, yes, I've got wet feet. I've actually got wet knees and knee braces as well, but it's been a really, really fun day. Ridden with lots of different people, uh, met lots of new friends along the track, so it's been really awesome. Uh, it's a bit fresh up here in the Bunyan Mountains, but other than that, uh, ready for another day tomorrow. Feels like home. Feels like home. Regrouped, fed and watered, many shared their stories from the day, which involved lots of mud and water, before stoking the fires and hitting the hay. Thankfully, the fire stayed alive to cool the morning chill as the riders prepared for their transit to Gainda, just shy of 300 kilometers away. Open. Uh, day two, mate. Day two. Heading uh, north out of here. Final destination, Gainda. A couple of small dirt diversions on the way, I'm sure. Should be a good time. Good morning. Good morning, George. How are you? Ready for another day. Easy day today. Up to Gainda. And some nice forestry sections up to uh, Mergen through Sherberg. Um, yeah, cruisy day, calling the Highsville pub, we reckon, for a, for a cold beer. I reckon we would have earned it by then. What's some of your favourite music? If you want to you know, get up it, what would you listen to? Neil Diamond. Neil, Neil Diamond, Neil I don't Diamond. mind a bit of Neil. <laughs> Neil, and then drop in a bit of Metallica. I've still got a good, bit of a, a variety. Calm me down and get me going. Fantastic, and we've just ducked off the bitumen into one of the coolest little dirt roads with heaps of little concrete causeways, and it's awesome. And I was riding along and I said out loud, I effing love this shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Lovely sunny day on the trails today, and boom. <laughs> if anyone's going to get a puncture, you know the drill. It's mostly me. So, thankfully these two nice gentlemen stopped uh, to help out, and one of them's got a sweet electric pump, so that's going to save me having to pump for 10 minutes to blow my tire up. But what a beautiful day, check it out. Nice scenery back there and a bunch of Norden 901s. Good day's riding. Nice. So you peppered me there. <laughs> that was free, no charge. <laughs> today puncture I got a puncture so that was early on but uh, it's been the transit day today so lots of open fast riding but there were some sections through the forest which were really fun so um, got some footage of that to share with you guys so I hope you enjoy it Everyone's rolled in now, we're just sort of checking over a lot of the bikes, air filters. We've got Rob here from Overlanders doing some tyres for a few guys. I got Lyndon Poskett's bike here, doing an air filter. Obviously been riding in dust all day, couldn't keep up with the front runners. Um. <laughs> Great day, riding back in the dark was unreal with the guys, you know. It's like Rosie said, if you, haven't, you know, if you haven't ridden back in the dark, you haven't, haven't done an adventure ride, so. Best day ever. Jeez, we had some fun. Had some fun through the pine trees and the red dirt. And your son Byron nearly had a moment in the mud puddle. We coaxed him in. <laughs> yeah, Byron had a moment. Yeah, but he apparently managed to jump off and get it out. We are in Gainda. We arrived. It's already dark outside. The last bikes arrived in the dark, but it was a fantastic day. Um, we had a big transit stage, but we had lots of off-road as well. So the, the wood sections were spectacular. Uh, log jumps, uh, creek crossings, long fast single tracks, it was really great. Lots of mud, lots of dust, so the bike needed some work tonight, so uh, the mechanics from Husqvarna Australia are doing a good job putting everything straight for us to go riding again tomorrow. 
So let's get on to tomorrow. We've got a big stage tomorrow, 410 kilometers, and we've also got a little special treat. We've got a special test. So we're gonna cut some laps and go ripping around the special test, and we're gonna take you along with us. So looking forward to another day on the Husky Trek 2022. New friendships made and machines serviced, many climbed into their tents early tonight, armed with the knowledge of the biggest day yet tomorrow at over 400 kilometers, including a special test for a little bonus along the way and finishing back at camp in Gainda. Here, boys. <laughs> Just went for a ride with the big fella. Look at him. So here we are at Game to Showgrounds. Just about to kick off for day three of the Husky Trek. And as you can see, the sun is shining. We've got a big 400 kilometer day ahead of us, but there's some awesome sights. Really looking forward to the private property access that we've got today. So a massive thanks to Matt and Vanessa Gibbons. Um, can't wait to uh, cut some laps on that little Husky special test. So. Gotta get out there. <laughs> now you ride with some rich dudes when they, they bring their money box with them. Full of cash. Have a look at that. Champions. Yeah, makes me feel more human. <laughs> my brain is busy digesting my food and it's just not working at the moment. What's happened here? Oh, I think the professional crashed quite quite a bit here. Just having a break. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was so cool that track. It was uh, it was fast, it was fun, and uh, yeah, just hold on to your pants and go. Now Gemma, I think this is pretty special. You were riding with your, your father Ted. How cool is that? It's been really fun. Where else would you rather be? Oh, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. So what was the section like? Yeah, it was good. Nice and slippery and plenty of uh, high speed as well. It was good. Enjoyed it. Looking forward to the Husky special test? Yeah, we'll give it a crack.
drone got caught. Oops. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. There's some cakes left. There is some for you, put a whole plate aside. Awesome. I know you need it. Yeah, I'm gonna Absolutely. Go Fee's been baking all morning. I've been slaving over this all Whole day. Stave, yeah, absolutely. I, I know you guys get hungry out there. Yeah. Can I interest you in a sweet treat? No. No? I'd really prefer a beer. <laughs> Doing here, Louis? Well, I wasn't. Oh, I just stopped up for a drink. Mm. Some for me. Actually, I'll give the box some too. Poor old girl. Hang out the sun all day. There you go, darling. <laughs> Things I do. This is the extremes the sweet riders will go to drinking no, petrol just to get a fellow rider right home. Like the guys in front of us have been holding us off a bit. We would have been through here hours ago, but. What's old mate's name? Um, I don't know. Poskett. Poskett. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's him. been dragging anchor. He's got a funny accent, hasn't he? Mm, Canadian? No, American, I think. American. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought so. You want to join in? It's all right. Come over. <laughs> so here we are, right at the end of day three, Husky Trek 2022. We've got about 50 kilometers left to go. The sun's already going down, but it's been beautiful countryside. And the terrain today has been awesome. Off-road pretty much all day. Uh, we had the special test feature which we got to rip around a little two kilometer track uh, i spent far too long there jumping and sliding and skidding it was really good fun uh, saw everyone go through there such a fun time and the tracks and trails today long sweeping corners gravel roads water crossings just a lot of fun had a really great time so looking forward to getting back getting a shower and cleaned up and having some good food Tomorrow's route would take us to Gympie for another change of scenery. 
With some lengthy technical route options and slippery forest tracks after recent rains, the challenge was still in full swing. At the end of the day, most riders will have racked up almost 1,500 kilometers. another good one but 415 kilometers so I think everyone's gonna be on a big push but it's gonna be awesome so apparently it's really good track so looking forward to it it's been such a great ride good fun So, stopped again. Another puncture. So this this time a rear puncture. And uh, these two gentlemen stopped to assist with the process by giving me sweets, which is nice. <laughs> um, but the tire's damaged, so we have to make a plan. So let's show you what's going on. You see that? I can stick my thumb through it almost. Huge cut. Well, not huge, but cut in the tire there and the tube would pop through it. So, I've taken the old tube, cut a piece off like this, and wrapped it around the tube so that hopefully the air stays in it. We'll know in a minute. Gonna have to get myself one of those, I think. This breakout section, 70 k's, it, it brings me back to my old enduro days and you know the 701 just, just nails this stuff.
bit dark, but it was fun. I had a great time. Day four of the Husky track today has been, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. The tracks were running mean, so uh, everyone was pushing hard, and we had the marathon uh, hard route stage, which I, I hear was very challenging. I didn't get in there myself, but it was uh, three chili, so it's pretty spicy. Hey, I'm Sean Java from South Africa. Um, new started with a group about a week now. Um, Taking over marketing in New Zealand, and they brought me out for this event. So, yeah, it's been good. First time in Australia, so. So here we are at the end of day four of the Husky Trek and today was the longest day so far, 415 kilometers. Uh, I'm sure there were some mistakes and people did a bit more than that, but nonetheless, it was a fantastic day, really long, uh, pretty much all off-road. We had some really nice technical breakouts which went through the forests and uh, it, was, it was hard work. Even for me, it was a good challenge and I really enjoyed the riding today. I got to ride with many different people again, um, just a fantastic day. It's already night time, a few riders rolling in late, but we're all here and thankfully we're all safe. So we're going to go and have dinner and looking forward to another day tomorrow. today and what we'll ride tomorrow when we ride out is what I grew up riding on which is pretty cool um, and yeah to get to share it with everyone here at the Husky Trek was really cool today. So putting this together Geordie it's been a, been a marathon effort oh, the last three four months I suppose just trying to find track from mates that have sent us track out there riding track um, the weather's just been horrendous up here pre-riding recce rides it's, it's going to do a track find that we can't do it and then turn around. Discovering new track by off chance has been great. The, the second half of H2 today on day four was basically on Google Maps in the satellite image, just plotting the track through it, and then going and riding it, and, and it's just unbelievable how it, how it gelled so well. Mate, I've, I've had a cracking time on this ride. I think, I think the hardest part for us was setting up a ride for 701s when we ride 901s and trying to blend the two. So I think we've put it together a little bit. The fast stuff's fast, but the technical stuff's still there. So. Who knew the riding could be this epic? And day after day, it just keeps getting better. So I cannot wait. But remember guys, have a safe ride tomorrow, please. Let's all get back to Banya and let's have an awesome finish to the 2022 Husky Trek. fantastic group meal and drinks together drew closure on the penultimate day. With just one day remaining, taking us back to where we started in the Bunya Mountains, the goal for many was just to make it back safely. Of course that still included skids, drifts, wheelies and jumps along the way. to head back to the Bunya Mountains, another 350 kilometer day um, through some amazing forestry um, and some amazing tracks. So we do head through Kenilworth. So um, I think some of the lads were thinking about doing the one kilo donut challenge at the Kenilworth Bakery. Five days of adventure riding is a long time, but last night's spirits, everyone is absolutely pumped and they kind of just want to keep going. They're like, hey, day six, day seven. Um, they'd be happy to keep the trek rolling, but can't wait to get out there, finish up at Bunny Mountains, get everyone in and get that finisher sticker. Final day, let's go.
Yeah, probably the best I've ever seen at through Kanoa. Dirt is like glue. Absolutely perfect. And it's super fun. It's like a racetrack. They're going to love it. That's something special. I want to go back. I definitely want to go back. I've never ridden some of these tracks right near home. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool to find them. I can't believe it links all the way through to the other side of Gympie there. Old boys know where they're going. <laughs> Is around, so I've come to this donut shop. Um, these guys say there's some big donuts for us to share at this place. Whoever eats one gets some free swag from Linden Poskett Racing because it's a pretty beast of a challenge. I'm, I'm 44 years old and, and I'm old enough to know when something's not right, and that is not right. Look at that! Yeah. <laughs> Where do you start from? I mean, I'm not starting that end. What's the time? Stop. No time limit. No time. Yeah. Oh, 1,000 gram custard donut. We better get going. He's, he's, he's going I'm not even halfway in and I'm already feeling really sick. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there, Jeff? I'm going all right. Jeff, Jeff, You're about right. two, th Jeff, two thirds Jeff. of the way in. Liam? Jeff's going to do that. Oh. It's a good donut. <laughs> So just an update on the donut challenge. I'm out. I'm, I'm, I've tapped out. Game over. So Jeff, how are you doing? Oh, that's enough for me. Liam. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on, Liam. Take it for the team. Yeah. That is officially finished. Sort of like it. One kilo. <laughs> Go get your plate. <laughs> the winner's plate. <laughs> Hungry doesn't get any better. Someone oh. give me a fucking T-bone steak. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. That was that was awesome. And then we found we swept the final like dirt section of main route. And then these guys had swept hard route, but they wanted to do the main route again. So they went and basically did it in the dark. Five definitely long days, but the terrain that we went through and the conditions, like, without doing this, I would never have dreamed of taking this bike there. The last five days we've had sand, uh, you know, rocks, we've had you know, steep hills, crazy downhills, you know. Man, such a good event, such a great time. <laughs> What an epic week for the 2022
to Husky Tracks. Honestly, guys, what a sensational week of riding. Um, and it has been great to be around you all. So thanks for being here to make it such a wonderful event. Husqvarna Australia for giving me an awesome bike. And I've, I've had a real ball riding it and the tracks and everything. I know all the thank yous have been said, but um, I'll just say to everybody, thank you for making it such an amazing event in an amazing part of the world. So, thank you. Who's Corner? Motorcycles.